What's up guys? Welcome back to welcome back to another video. So I just got out of the dentist. I pretty much just got my teeth polished and my last couple of trays, which I'm super happy about. I finished up top here, so my teeth is pretty aligned up here. But on the bottom, I still have about six more trays. They gave me three. I have three left. But I'm almost there to having pretty good looking teeth, which I'm pretty happy about. But anyway, as for now, your man's starving. He's absolutely starving. So we need something to eat and head over to Copart because uh, we have some cars we're actually be checking out that we're going to be possibly rebuilding on this channel. We actually might not be rebuilding any of these in particular, but we're checking them out for future just to see if we like the car or not so we can decide whether we want to bid on it on a long distance one and have it shipped here because I just want to check. I I've never seen these cars before or ever owned these cars before we're trying something new so we, we definitely need to check them out and also who knows we might get one of those you know so we gotta go check it out but hey let's get some chipotle it's always a good day when chipotle is open god bless guys oh my lord all right guys just got home charging the i8 again i'm literally just trying to take full advantage of the fuel economy might as well save some money on gas because i'm eating a little bit on depreciation so since i'm driving it might as well save money on gas whether if that actually helps significantly or not at least mentally it helps also speaking of what else that's good for mentally chipotle so i'm actually about to eat this real quick before we actually head over to copart but um you just take a look at it take a look at it Mm, mm. Oh my god. Alright guys, so we just ate that amazing meal. Now let's head over to Copart and check out some BMWs. So there's some X5Ms I think and another BMW. There's also an R8 that I'm looking at but it still hasn't hit the Copart lot yet. Like it's been saying upcoming lot for a long, very long period of time. And you know, some other cars that we're just looking at. Obviously I need to sell some of my cars or at least one of my cars to be able to purchase something as big as an R8 or something, you know, along those levels. But if we're sticking to something a lot smaller, we might be able to get away with keeping the rest of our cars. But we'll have to see. Let's just go check out that X5M because I'm really curious to how much of a difference it is compared to the X5 and see how bad the damage is because it looks pretty bad. But, uh, you know, your boy likes a challenge, but I don't want something that's unrealistic. So, uh, I guess I'll show you guys. All right, guys, so we just made it down to Copart. Hopefully, we can find those cars we found online. Uh, wish us luck. Let's get it. I'm super excited. I haven't been to Copart in, like, me for a bit. It turns out you have to wait in line like, on your phone. You check it on your phone, so there's not many people waiting in there. You basically scan the thing on the window. You wait in line. So I think we have to wait about 15 minutes. It says it could be longer. I guess we'll give it a shot. So apparently, you have to buy your own vest now. So it's $5. Not a big deal. It's actually pretty cool. I actually like vests. So $5. Not a big deal. I wish it said Copart or something on here. It would have been a lot cooler. But anyhow. The only other issue is that they only let you view one car per day. Which is kind of bad. Um, the other one looks pretty good. It starts up at everything. It has no issues. The other one's completely destroyed. So I want to look at the one that's completely destroyed. Mainly for the fact is, is it even salvageable? Or is it so broken that uh, it, it's only good for parts? So I, I really want to just check it out. So I guess we're going to be seeing... Uh, one car today that's really, really bad. So we just saw the car. I mean, <laughs> it would be a pretty crazy build, but I mean, 3,000 bucks. I mean, I think it will go for about probably $5,000 just because the motor is actually in perfect shape. Believe it or not, even the structural rail did not damage the motor, get anywhere close to it. But 
In terms of wiring and everything, it's gonna need everything. It's gonna need a whole new uh, subframe. It's gonna need a whole new side. It's gonna need a lot, of, a lot, a lot of parts. But it is tempting because something like that would be absolutely insane to rebuild. And I'm really, really, really tempted considering the price. So let me know down below, guys. Or am I absolutely losing it? Should I go with something a little bit more doable? <laughs> Because if we get something like that, it will take me months to build. So that's the thing that sucks. And with YouTube, you know, you really don't have months to build. Um, it'll be crazy for content, but at the same time, I wanna get something more realistic so I can show you guys the build, the process, do some mods, have some fun with the car. So that one is a little worse than I expected. I didn't realize the harness was gonna be completely shot. I didn't realize that the whole interior, like, pillar and like the the what is it called like the the firewall yeah the firewall was actually pushed in like yeah i think that's really honestly just good for parts up on the on, online i even showed my brother my brother said dude nor that is absolutely insane that's not even good for a rebuild but you know my m3 believe it or not looked probably a little bit better than this when i first got it so um yeah but in person this is way worse than the m3 the m3 took about three months to build i'm pretty sure but from start to finish i think this one took you probably about half a year so i think it's gonna be a little too long anywho i'm really unhappy with the fact that you can only check out one car at a time but we might have to come here tomorrow or uh we might have to look at some online as soon as we get back so i think that's what probably we're gonna do let's go head home look at some more cars online and uh see what kind of cars we're actually gonna be looking at here on the ocean now nothing but waves in this villain in I wanna dry up, but you just keep on going, don't you? I don't even know how we got here. All my reasoning have disappeared. I wanna bury the hatchet and find the way back to our home, our home, our home. We don't have to drift inside this dome. I will not let us fade away. It's not a price I wanna pay And it's not too late No, we lost our purse All right, guys, I ain't back in the garage and and bam, just like that, it is back on the charge, has a full gas tank, and I'm gonna try to get the battery up to its full potential. I pretty much ran this car three weeks without filling it up, which is absolutely insane. I drive it every single day, which is crazy, and filling up the tank on premium was only $30. Guys, that's one of the reasons I absolutely love this car, is the fact that you can drive such a fun and nice car, and at the same time, not have expensive maintenance and not have crazy fuel efficiency to where you're spending thousands of dollars per, per year or whatever i mean typically people spend thousand dollars a month typically on them anyhow so i'm gonna throw up some of the cars that i've been looking at so i've been looking at this particular m4 up there that m2 i've been also looking at x5 m's also x6s and x5s the regular ones because i just never had an even like a decent suv on the channel so i kind of want to just do any X series, an X5, X6, maybe an X5M. I probably have to sell one of my cars to get one of those, but I really want one, especially if you can make it kind of like a tow rig. I think that'd be super sick. Cause also in December, I'm gonna be getting my own place and probably a new shop. So I'm probably gonna need something that can tow, probably gonna need something that can bring in parts and stuff like that to the new shop. So an X5 is really tempting, but I can't be daily in this every day. And an X5M is ter terrible in fuel efficiency, absolutely terrible. So even if we were to get an X5M, we still need another car. So that being said, we might have to sell one or maybe two of our cars, maybe just one, but maybe two. We'll have to see by December to make a lot of dreams come true because if we can get an x5m an m4 or an m5 or even an m3 and then i yeah i think it'd be a pretty insane lineup or let me know should we do another exotic on the channel sell both my other cars and get another exotic maybe a gtr amg gt let me know guys down below but i'm honestly thinking we want, we want to get some m's on the channel we definitely need to get some m's on the channel this is a bmw channel we have the flagship bmw right here but we need some m's because that's a huge part of bmw as well kind of a short video in the next video we're actually gonna be getting the 135 pretty much 100 percent ready we're gonna try to put on the diffuser ourselves which is gonna be pretty much a pain i don't know why it doesn't go on there perfectly so we're gonna have to figure that we're gonna take off the bumper try to put on the diffuser after you put on the diffuser we're gonna fix the wrap all around the car get the exhaust work done probably all in the next video if not we'll probably have another video for the next video and then that video is gonna be the one after as of today this is literally i'm probably uploading this tomorrow so this video is going out tomorrow so you guys are completely up to date on what's going on here we do also have some mods for the 435 my brother's actually gone out and he's enjoying that car he doesn't have a car he's going to be getting a build in december as well a lot of things are happening in december just because of how our lives are going but yeah he's enjoying the 435 so you guys are wondering is the 435 just sitting no my brother's driving there almost every single day he's enjoying the 435 and the 135 i haven't been driving it because 
because the exhaust is cut right in the middle and I don't want to burn off my new bumper. So we got to get that situated. So that's why I've been just pretty much dailying this. This is just an amazing daily. So that, that is the reason for that. But all right, guys, I saw your guys' responses on Instagram. You guys can see the poll right there. A lot of you guys honestly DM me and was like, Nor, um, I voted for rebuilds, but we want to see both. Not one single person, believe it or not, that actually messaged me. A lot of you guys voted rebuilds, obviously. As you guys can see, the, the ratio is insane. It's like 90, 10 or something like that. But every single person that DM me was like, I want to see both. So I'm going to try to integrate vlog stylish rebuilds to the channel and also rebuilds. So it's not going to just be a full out rebuild and you guys don't get to really see me or enjoy the cars. I'm going to be partially working on rebuilds, partially enjoying the cars, partially going out with the boys, partially enjoying life because that's what life is about. You don't want to die tomorrow and be like, yeah, well, I made a video, you know, the next day. It's, it's great. Yeah, I rebuilt an X5 or whatever. You know, that's great. But did you enjoy it? So that's another thing. So you always have to make sure you enjoy life. But without further ado, guys, that's the plan. I love you guys so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in cert, cause I wanna have worth.